I'll quite lay. I'm just dropping the room tour in here. It was incredible. We paid £36, I think, per night for this, for both of us. This was the bathroom, really nice and modern. Cute little rubber duck. Then we had a really nice modern kitchen, Nespresso machine, an oven, seating area, two little seating areas actually, the sofa and the table and then our gorgeous double bed with this unbelievable view. You can just see the top of the Petronas Towers also here but this view we were shocked it was unbelievable this place i'm gonna link it down below everybody needs to book it everybody needs to stay here if you're in kuala lumpur it is the biggest bargain ever good morning folks we're up bright and early this lovely kuala lumpur morning bright and early quarter past ten <laughs> yeah well early enough to say we went to bed at one can't even see me and i'm gonna steam up any second have you got the key yeah. um yeah okay <laughs> We're just heading out to a place called, I actually don't know what it's called, I just, oh, I didn't see a step there, Woo. heading out for breakfast, long story short, short story long in my case, and I'm going to steam up now, so I'm going to go. So we're heading to RAFT, it's called, for some brekkie, found it on Google, oh, and it looks 10 out of 10, oh, no, but it's like RA-FT. <laughs> RA featuring, who knows? Yes. Who knows? Uh, where's the Petronas Towers? Oh, they've gone. In the middle there, maybe? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's like 15 minute walk. We're just gonna head down there, get me some pancakes, I think. And I'm actually so buzzing to have Asia prices back. Yeah. Yay. The pancakes are gonna be like four quid. In Australia, they'd be 12. It's a, a nice change to have back some nice cheap food. Yeah, the humidity though. Yeah, the humidity. Wow. I... So in Perth, it was a lot warmer, but it actually feels colder than here. Yeah, it's I think fresher. it's only 20. Is it only 25? The air's just drier. Um, it's really humid, so it feels, it feels really, really hot. Yeah, it's so muggy. Um, I don't think we know where we're going, really, yeah, do we, hon? Yeah. Found it, finally. Raff. Raffit. Raffit. It's like our, our friend in there. Anyway, we'll show you our brekkie when it comes and then we'll probably just do a sightseeing day but I hope you can hear the Christmas music in the background. Probably can't but... I'm here. I'm your hair. First impressions on KL? Uh, like it. It's very similar to Singapore I feel like. I think because we're staying in a nice park, yeah. significantly uh, cheaper. Yeah. Look at the camera. <laughs> it is very hot and sweaty. Well, yeah. Um, but it's relatively cheap so far. Like. Yeah, we're in a really nice brekkie place and it's coffee, two pound, breakfast, yeah, about four or five. Nice, nice place. I'm sure if you want to go somewhere a bit uh, 
more off the beaten track, <laughs> being very, very cheap. Yeah. Um, and particularly where I was staying as well. It's very yeah. Cheap, very nice. I know, I hope my room tour I did at 1am last night did it justice. Yeah. Probably didn't. I'll do another quick one before we move out in the morning. I'm yeah. actually going to be sad to go in the morning. It's, yeah, excited. Could chill here for a few days. Go and see some stuff. Um, and then, yeah, we fly tomorrow to the <laughs> I've <laughs> uh, been told I've got a special design just for me, not for Alex. Yeah. How cute is that? And I've got a Christmas tree biscuit. So has Alex, he's got one of those as well, just so you don't feel left out. <laughs> Aww, how cute! What the hell? I don't want to drink it now. Got food, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah. English, of course. Really fancy pancake. Oh, what is it? Well, it's basically full English, that. And he's asked for brown sauce, so we'll see if we actually get brown or barbecue. I'm saying barbie. We'll see. Yummy! Need a bit of nutrition in my system. Take the pancakes out of the equation. nice coffee shops here that's one thing I've noticed instantly um, right just going to find the Patronus Towers said the what? Dottie's Cafe you have to show oh, me Dot oh I thought it said Lottie oh Dottie yeah shout out Amelia and Dottie found the Patronus Towers oh it's actually huge is it a government building did we say I think you can go up to the top of it though but we're not going to bother. Here he is, gawping. It's absolutely sweltering. <laughs> it is so hot. We've not got cream on either, which is a bit of a, a, bit of a boo boo. I kind of want to see it from a bit of a better angle. But I'm bloody roasting. Uh, that's weird as well, isn't it? Is that actually abandoned or is that the look? The look is not abandoned. Oh, I thought it was like overgrown like the ones in Uluwatu, oh but then I thought, no, that actually looks really nice. Yeah, anyway, Four Seasons looks wow, 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 wow. You can see that from our room as well. A lot of high rises here. I thought I really enjoyed it so far, Malaysia. I had honestly no expectations. And I must say, so far, uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. The prices are super cheap, the city's nice, like, good, um, what's the word? Nice skyline, loads of high rises. And yeah, as long as it's cheap, when I win a chicken dinner. I think our breakfast costs £15 for two coffees, a pretty much full English, and pancakes and fruit. So that is what we like. You just take it in the sides? Yes. <laughs> what do you do? Just, I know, but you're just going. Next to a high up. Yeah, but why did you have your tongue out? Right, back to the hotel now for a quick change, sun cream on and then taxi to see Batu Caves. It's the plan for this afternoon. Fancy cars. Four Seasons looks beautiful. Wow, look how high that is. Right, let's go. We're gonna detail through the shopping centre. Oh God, running. Okay, we're running. Bloody hell. Ah, uh, jaywalking. Right, H&M. Stop! I'm doing it, I'm treating myself. Love stuff like this. This H&M is honestly probably the best H&M I've ever been in. Oh, I'm in my element. Good old Nando's. 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 Oh, how cute is this? Ah. Oops, I'm getting left behind. We definitely need to get Alex one of these. <laughs> Lex? Yeah? Turn around. Lex is in his absolute element. I must say though, as far as golf shops go, this is this is quite impressive. It's massive. There we have it, there's our lovely apartment. I know it does look like it's about to rain. Uh, that'll be interesting. But we're gonna head to Batu Caves now. Head back to the hotel first. Grab a quick t-shirt, some well, I was gonna say sun cream, but maybe not anymore. And then go explore the key. That's where we're staying. It's called Scarlet Suites, I think. 
just gonna nip in the shop, get some water, and then go to the caves. Faye, shout out to David and Clarice. Guess what floor we are? Thirty-three. Oh my god, that was really good. <laughs> Can't wait to put that in the vlog. This view is just honest to God, like you literally could not beat it. So this is £72 per, uh, no it's not, £72 for both of us for two nights. I mean the room is a bit of a mess now, we've unloaded everything, but it is, en it's literally amazing. Like really dropped on, I don't know if it was just a last minute deal, but we have had to make a tower for the kettle to work, cost the, uh, the cord to plug it into the wall is about five centimetres. It is honestly... 10 out of 10. We've got all these steps to walk up and I'm a bit nervous already because, uh, you know, not good in the old stamina department. Welcome to Batu Caves, everybody. Look free at entry. that! Oh, may I just say, free entry. Free entry? Yeah, I feel like Malaysia in general, like Kuala Lumpur so far. It's been really cheap and I've been really impressed. Yeah. So it's cool, that's it. it's a good city to go to, like a good cheap I'm a, I admit, I'm enjoying it. The yeah. one thing I also enjoyed so far is, has actual sewers. Oh, I thought you were going to say brown sauce. Has brown sauce with breakfast. Brown sauce, doesn't usually completely they bring stink. out barbecue, they did actually bring out proper HP sauce. Yeah. Wow. Top marks. Oh, that smelled a bit. I guess I just said <laughs> that it doesn't completely stink. We did get quite a bit of a, a whiff then. But you wow. never know, could have been Charlotte. Mate, those steps are steep. I'm nervous here. Yeah, Charlotte, you're not going to the top of that. I'm, that's gonna, I'm gonna need four stops. Four? Gonna, I'll make it to the top. You need four to get past the gate? No. Right, come on. Bear in mind, Charlotte went on a 7k bike ride the other day. Alex, the, I'm the not hills were so the hill, steep. Right, this is the, the funny thing. She was they saying were. the hills are so steep. They were. I'm not exaggerating. The, the highest gradient of hills, maybe 3%. No. It, it really was, and the, the elevation was about as high as a two-story building. So, and she made out she, she made out she was uh, on the Tour de France. So, I felt like I was. Let's see how she gets up here. Right, let's do it. I'm quite out of breath, but I've also got to hold my skirt because I'm not allowed this little slit, which I didn't realise. Ah, here he is. Keep up, love. Chop, Keep chop. Up. Ah, ah, I'm dead now, but we made it. Wow, this cave is very cave like. It's huge. That's such a lot of going things to say. No, it's massive. This cave. Looks it's like, a lot like a cave. reminds me of like um, jungle run. Reminds, you of a... reminds me of jungle run. Wow, it's massive. Oh my god, I'm deceased. <laughs> oh, hello, mate. It's, oh, this is crazy. Reminds me of like Lara Croft Tomb Raider or something. This is so good for free as well. Oh, 
having a little mare here since I had to cover this little mascot up so I can't really walk. But we're doing what we can. Waddling away. It's just steps that become a little bit tricky. Right, let's go and see what's up here then. Wow, it's so cool. Bloody carnage here. I'm terrified. Did you see him trying to get through cracking railings? <laughs> wow, it's so humid. These monkeys are flipping terrifying. Reality. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get me out of here. If you don't like pigeons, then don't go to Batu Caves. Oh, Batu Caves, sorry. Oh my god. Right. That's our lot with Batu Caves. Incredible, to be honest. Like, how the caves are formed. Like, it's absolutely humongous. But there are so many monkeys. And they put me really on edge because you're not meant to look at them or they see it as a sign to attack. Um, and this woman got a little bit too close to one of them and she got snarled at and uh, it just freaks me out. But we've been and we've seen it and I've really enjoyed it and I'm glad we've been. So that was a nice 30 minutes. It did say online, recommended time to spend in Batu Caves, two to four hours. Like, what the f how are you going to do for even two hours being a half what, my legs are Just walk up and then walk down. There. I'm going back down, like my legs have been doing Yeah, sports. honestly, I think it's going down that's the worst. Because the steps are so steep, you've got to be on monkey watch as well. Um, anyway, let's get back to the comfort of our... Uh, uh, yeah, we're just at the front con. gate now. So hot. Yeah. <laughs> how funny is that? Alex's food is there. back now from Batu Caves and we're pooped. I feel like my shoulders look quite brown like this. Yay. Oh god, the state of my hair. I had to shove it up so fast because it was so humid and we were really sweaty from walking up the steps anyway. But the, the walk up to the top was actually not too bad. I'd say the walk down was probably worse because those are monkeys um and they had bananas and there was banana skins everywhere and it had been raining and then there was leaves so i thought i'm gonna skid down here but we made it um yeah it's a bit scary though the monkeys are really unpredictable and it is a bit nerve-wracking and you can't really keep your distance from them so it's one thing to bear in mind if you're gonna go but um we're obviously glad we did it because i feel like kuala lumpur there's not really that much that's like that many landmarks whereas that is obviously like a, a key landmark of Kuala Lumpur um so we've ticked that off today we've had a walk and we've seen the Petronas Towers we're gonna have a walk tonight and find some food somewhere we're gonna go back past the Petronas Towers get a few nice pics um when they're all lit up at night and then we move on to Thailand tomorrow so we fly at midday um probably leave here at half eight or so tomorrow morning so should just be enough time to try and get up at seven-ish and just nip for coffee maybe in the morning. But yeah, so far so good. Like for the sake of either a visa run from Bali or just like a pit stop to break up your journey on the way to Australia or something. Like I've, I think Kuala Lumpur is great. Like I did, I was worried at first because obviously it is quite a built up city. Um, and I just thought when we landed at the airport, I knew the taxi was going to be about 50 minutes to the hotel. So I thought, see how much this sets us back by. Because obviously in other places, like at home and in Singapore, it's obviously quite expensive to get a taxi that long. But it literally cost £13 to get the taxi from the airport. Um, yeah, 50 minute journey. So you can't complain at that at all. Then the place we're staying is super cheap and everything's probably well the Petronas Tower's a 10 minute walk away there's a shopping centre 10 minutes walk away um and then the taxi we got from here to Batu Caves which took 20 minutes cost six pounds I think and that was actually an inflated price because it was quite high demand so yeah I think it's 
I think it's great to be honest. They have Grab, which they also have in Bali just to get food delivered or to get you a taxi somewhere. So it's super easy. I just order them on the Wi Fi here. Obviously, the Wi Fi drops off when I leave, but it doesn't really matter too much. It still goes through. So, yeah, just gonna chill now, do a bit of work, and then probably head back out about 8 pm. Just gonna enjoy the view from the bed. I love a good city view. So we heard there was a pool in our building, but we didn't think it'd have this view. This is insane. Oh. Right, let's go for a dip. Right, so we found this wine lounge up here that you can rent out, which is sick. And then the gym is in here. It is so good. Look out with the view. So we discovered this working space. What the hell? This building is insane. Tonight's food venue. Oh, look at this. We've got ITV on. What the hell? Aren't I good at choosing places to eat, Alex? Thank you. Oh, I feel so festive now. The place we're at is called Sold Out. We got a taxi because it started hammering down my brain. And the menu's huge. So, let's have a little cruise. To one weekend drink, aren't we? Oh, we've... Alex. Got some tunes on though. Oh, wait, it's not. Come on, here we go. Love this song. This place is so cool. Okay, now we can't see the place. City there. It's massive. Stop. I know, yeah, it's chucking it down. Right, we're just waiting for our duck bar one starter. They do, have, they do have the football on at 11, but it's only half past seven and I don't fancy sitting here for like, you know, five hours. But yeah. Really? Oh, I'm scared. Right, I've been thrown off course a bit here with these, uh, with these pink bad ones. Very interesting. We'll give them a try. Dinner is served. Don't know if I like I love Alex's. Mine looks nice though. Always love the novelty of finding a brand that we have at home. Waitrose, everybody. Wow. Beautiful. Not actually going to get anything though. Oh, I love just nosy around shops like this with loads of different brands in. Ice cream. Get some ice cream. Oh, we'll just take snacks back with us. Yeah, snacks, snacks, snacks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no, I don't want that. Right, what else then, lad? Let, let's have a little mooch round. Look at this shop, it's fantastic. Yeah, let's get something for brekkie. Oh, what a store. This is BIG, everyone. This is where it's at in Malaysia. This feels like a fantasy. This is great. Anyway. I'm sure people watching the vloggy don't want to see a supermarket. Good morning folks. Just got back from the gym, a bit sweaty. And there's some lovely scales in there that told me I put on eight pounds. Oh my god. It's just not good. But it's fine. We're gonna go to Thailand and we're gonna gonna go on a skinny Thai diet, aren't we? Which is I don't know what that includes, but I'm gonna do and I'm gonna go back to eating only when I'm hungry so there's a problem in Perth we just you know fed our faces which I don't regret but it's just not ideal um so yeah just got back from the gym we need to leave in 40 minutes to go to the airport just gonna have a quick cup of tea and ironically since it's the only thing I've got to eat and I really need something in my stomach I'm gonna have a cookie so we can start the skinny tie diet this afternoon um yeah so short time now cup of tea and get packed up and then we leave in 40 minutes back to the airport so yeah that was our 24 hours in Kuala Lumpur didn't really do all that much to be honest but um we definitely recommend the place we went to eat last night which was called sold out like s-o-u-l-e-d out it's really good and it was good because they were playing the football but we just didn't want to wait until the Olympia well, I didn't um, but yeah, I'd definitely make a trip back to Kuala Lumpur though, to be honest. Right, anyway, I better get showered. So, thanks for watching the 24 hours in Kuala Lumpur vlog.
I've actually ended it this time. Alex says thanks too. Well done. What? Oh, the ending it. Oh, thanks. Okay.